how's it going? Joe Schmo Cool Stuff here with a new mini game for you called Eat Your Veggies. Don't Starve's name is a bit of a misnomer. Nobody really dies from hunger in this game, especially when you learn some of the more lucrative crockpot recipes like meatballs. Well, now you can strike fear into the hearts of all your meatball loving friends by installing this mod and forcing, <clears throat> encouraging them to expand their dietary horizons. The basic idea, inspired by Magno, is that you are given a randomized menu of food items that you're allowed to eat. Any food that's not shown on your menu is blacklisted from your diet, but when you do eat a menu item, it now becomes blacklisted. That is, until your menu is reset. So how do you reset your menu? Well, there are three game modes available, each with their own reset requirements. First, you have the Cycle Game Mode, in which your menu is only reset once you've eaten every single item on the menu. So basically your diet is restricted more and more over time until there's just one food in the whole world that'll satisfy your hunger. And once you eat that food, you're given a fresh menu to start anew. Second, there is the Seasonal Mode. Your menu is only reset when the world changes seasons. As opposed to Cycle Mode, where you can sort of speed through your menu at your own pace, with seasonal mode, you have to ration and make do with your allotment of food over an entire season. Third, there is the yearly mode. It's like the seasonal mode, except your menu is only reset after an entire year, or 70 days by default. You can change the amount of days this is set to in the mod config. Anyone can manually reset their menu at any time if they choose to, but for DST, I've included an option that allows you to disable the manual reset for anyone who's not an administrator. Because as soon as you get into any trouble, you can just reset your menu and presto, problems be gone. So with this mod config option, you can force people to abide by the rules of the game. Also in the mod config, you can set the game mode, menu type, and included items that people on your server will get by default. If you'd like, you can disable the entire dietary restriction aspect of this mod, because I wrote a little crockpot helper widget that tells you the recipes for crockpot foods. Inevitably, people are going to go to the wiki when they don't know how to make guacamole, because honestly, who knows how to make guacamole, come on. So I figured I might as well just include that information in the mod itself so that people don't have to go googling for everything. Then I thought, some people might like to use this feature without having the nuisance of the food restriction. I've only shown the DST version so far, but there's also a single player version, which is compatible with all of the DLCs. You can further customize your experience by choosing Wigfrid, who is given a meat-only menu, or by choosing Warly, who has a few custom crockpot foods that are only available to him. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the mod. But before you head off, I have a bit of news. The next mod I'll be working on, probably, is the server-side version of DST Bingo. Bingo was sort of a dud on the workshop, at least compared to my expectations. Uh, I think mods that actually add challenge to Don't Starve are a pretty niche interest on the workshop. But the implementation will be similar to how the DST version of Eat Your Veggies works, so I might as well just do it while it's still fresh in my mind. It'll enable you to travel between caves and the overworld with the same bingo board in progress. It will also allow you to automatically propagate the same board to all of the players on your server. I've watched some people play bingo with friends, and it's quite painful having to read out the seed and making sure everyone has the same board. It will also allow modded items to be added to bingo boards, and a bunch of other cool stuff. If you have any suggestions for how it should work, or features that I should add, now would be a good time to let me know about them in the comments or on Twitter. I won't be making a video about it when it's completed, but if you want to know when it's out, you can get updates on Twitter. I think there's also something on Steam where you can follow people's workshops. I'm not really sure how it works, but I guess you can follow me there to see when it's released as well. After that, or maybe at the same time, I'll be polishing up a mod that I'm really excited about. I think you guys will like it, so definitely stay tuned for some awesomeness coming up soon. Oh, and I think I'll be doing a run of the Eat Your Veggies mod with Warly in single player, so check that out if you're interested. I'll probably place some link somewhere that you can click on to head over to that video. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.